there's one other name, but I'm blanking on it right now. But those are the top five I have seen that have consistently gone with Rambo moments because they put themselves in the right spot and they themselves are able to just do so much damage. I've seen Nemesis work miracles with the machine gun. We've, um, I know Az is saying he feels so betrayed right now. We've seen other players. So for example, Falcon, the joke like a hawk with him because he won a few rounds and did super well. Audrey Hado, who has the kill record and literally clutched yeah. a win for his entire team, which was wiped early on with 23 kills. And he's never been able, like no one's even come close to that. Logan was some really cool trick plays as well. But was pretty good. the reason my top five are the top five is because they consistently are able to deliver. Nemesis, uh, well, we just saw one round where he got a bunch of kills with a machine gun. We just saw T5 Bay pull out seven in the last round. And then I would say Stanners again, like as I to say top six, because he also did really, really well and got 10 kills on, um, he got more than 10 kills on EU3. But the reason I say King, Arma Jesus, and. Guy Fieri is because they showed up a few months ago and I have, it took them like about a month to warm up, but ever since then, I have seen them just stick it consistently, round to round, week to week, and it's it's well-deserved. Uh, I mean, I, I watched the three of them during the uh, home yeah. faction FNF versus mm -hmm. uh, the, grudge match. the guest, yeah, the grudge match one. They literally held back the entirety of the home faction as three dudes versus like 30 and they literally between them got nearly two dozen kills I, I'll, I'll say this absolutely then. incredible let's change it from a top five to a pickup five, 5v5 like a pickup basketball game who would be on your five on your five man team the same five names i just said no, see, I, I can't agree with that. I wouldn't want five, you know, Rambos. <clears throat> I would say for my 5v5, I'd want uh, Severe, probably, yeah, Arma Jesus, Nemesis. Um, hmm. Maybe Stathenberger. Barb, Barb, I hate to cut and, you off, but you were there for Titans, right? I was there for Titans, yes. Tactics in like okay, it would depend on the five v five, but still, I I would think five Rambo's that are really good would overpower almost anything because Nemesis knows tactics too. <clears throat> like I I get your choice with Severe. Severe's a really good tactician, but he's not the best at CQB PVP in my opinion. I know the guy. I've worked with the guy. I was under him in CCO eight. Beautiful strat uh, strategician. Str what is that word? Stratician? No. Strata. Strata. There's like a Strata proper guys. term for it, though. I know, but it's based off of uh, the word strategy. But uh, just Strategic. when it comes Strategic. to strategist, yeah, that's the word. Um, when it comes to like a, a cramped FNF 5v5 like FNF Titans, I would honestly go for the Rambos. That's just my opinion, though. Yeah, and your opinion's wrong. But moving on to this. Wow. One, we have... Again, blue four attacking green. Bitch. Four. In the continuation of campaign, we've been seeing a little bit. Excuse me. On the attacking side, we again have blue four, which yeah. Are, let's keep it stream relevant actually, now that we're moving uh, into round Norwegian, two, guys. The Norwegian army. Yeah, Norway. It's fucking Norway, so they're Norwegians. Okay. Uh, but yes, they are using actually M21s, which are the Serbian 556 rifle. Yep. Almost look like a Galil for the most part. Uh, we also have uh, PKMs and I think maybe PKPs for the uh, machine guns and uh, squad level machine guns or uh, platoon level machine gun. But yeah, um, AK pattern 556, which is just sounds cursed. Um, <laughs> GP25s, 762 uh, machine guns. Pretty good kit, um, all things considered. Um, as for assets, they have a 113 with an M240 and 762, and then two MRAPs. Uh, the little hunters that can hold uh, either like four or five people. Uh, one has a fully shielded turret with, a, with an M2. The other has an open top turret with a, a 240, both with gun shields. Additionally, they also have a nice UH-1 Huey with uh, 240s on either on side. Sides. 
Yep, so that would be good for orbitals and um, some quick dust-offs. No. And then a bunch of uh, transport M trucks. M uh, these are the Gs. armored ones. Again, you can tell because they have the nice open wide wheels. Or windows, sorry. <laughs> right, oh, Ice Frenzy. If you want to pre-order anything, feel but free. I'll uh, write down a sticky note. Four. Uh, they actually have RPG-26s. Uh, Thank you for the four spot, um, man. And a Carl Gustav. Otherwise, we'll so see you tomorrow for pay for pain. mix of kits and, you know, countries and weapons and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, interesting, but... Yeah, Vendoland nice giving out another five subs. If you got a sub from make sure you think about Vendo. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, man. I hope you get a kick out of this stream and stay safe. We are using a kind of a CDF-based pattern. <gasps> uh, Russian type gear. Three, using four, these. have two megs. Yes, but they can use them. Two megs. I put all my money on Green 4. Send in goat team six. They can't even yeah. use them. Also, I put four dollars on Green 4. Okay, I'll put four dollars on Blue 4. You want to shake on it? Sure. Send in goat okay. team six now. Awesome. That wasn't a shake. That was me clapping your ass. I'm about to fucking run. Are you behind me? By the way, the uh, the mat weapon is uh, an Igla. Ah, so that's gonna be able to counter the uh, the Huey then. But yes, yeah, so, sorry, we kind of got uh, distracted a little bit horny. Got but, a few uh, channels I'm marked for the pain is real. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I understand that. Millimeter Katiba, uh, bullpup rifle, uh, comparable to 5.56, all things considered. You mod for Jester uh, and see the crank crap. Yeah. 762 by 54 I'm um, also having 40 millimeter, uh, yeah, 40 millimeter under barrel grenade launchers. The Igla, like you already mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for infantry small arms. As for assets, they have an MI-8 with a front left and a rear right uh, PKT in 762. Mm -hmm. uh, the two MIGs, which I do not believe are enterable, Libro. MIGs. Um, uh, they have two Humvees, one that is up armored with a PKT turret, Mig. and one that is with an M2 on top. Uh, that one that is pretty exposed. But nice, decent mm -hmm. smattering of stuff. Oh, and they also have a bunch of Urals for transport. So if Green Fort wants to have air superiority with the uh, gunship they have, they can, or technically it's a gunboat, but... Fuckers. <laughs> I'll my mic on for that. Yes. But anyway, <laughs> um, I could see them using the Igla or using the helicopter to rapidly deploy the Igla at a high point, or even using the helicopter early to... Actually, no, they can't. You can't spool up. Uh before the round begins, my bad. Uh, so they'd have to use ground vehicles there, but I could see um, at the start of the op, they could put the uh, mat gunner with that Igla on a really tall mountaintop and overwatch pretty much the entire AO with it on point two three three to the south. Putting an Igla guy there would pretty much entirely cover the AO here. So I could see them doing something like that, but for the most part, yeah, I think so. Uh, it depends on how high the uh, view distance is, but yeah, any mm -hmm. anything that's meant to be direct for terminal one or three, and probably even one, or sorry, uh, for two or three, and possibly even one, uh, they could. I think that's true. That might not be enough room for the mix to take off. Mm. What's that's asking if that's even enough runway for the mix to take off? And he might be right because that's actually a pretty short runway. Uh, they, they, if they like went to the road and then like afterburn. Yeah, I, I could see it, but it would it would still be close in my opinion. Yeah, but hey, armor three, anything's possible. Anything's right? possible. Right. That's why I put two aircraft carriers together and take off uh, A10s with it. <laughs> Skytech with like reasons. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the sectors oh, yeah. here. And you made a, a, a you made a supermarine, not a submarine, but a supermarine. It's a zeppelin. My pun is better. Fuck you. Zeppelin. Look, we are going to have one advantage that they surely lack. He muted himself. <laughs> Zeppelins! Sorry, I just wanted to cut you off before you got too racist. It's a Helsing joke. Oh, so you're talking about being a zombie Nazi vampire thing. Nice. Have you ever seen Helsing abridged? Uh, I, I haven't seen a bridge in a while, but I love Hellsung Ultimate. I love that so much. Yes, I know. Give a bitch Gentlemen, a cannon. Bitches love cannons. We? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Nazis. Libra is literally dating uh, and we? this girl. She cosplayed it. She made her own fucking cannon, and they're so nice. She's made multiple. And you took your cannon in you. Lewd. Alright, but uh um, What is wrong with uh, you? There are like children this actually this is an eighteen plus stream, so there shouldn't be any children watching, but there might be children watching. 
Um, Even though they're not supposed to. One at the uh, nice little bowl around uh, a few uh, ridges and peaks. You just say Koopa Sink. <laughs> Uh, apparently important to the map. Uh, <laughs> Barb, Barb, what's that saying? If you want to be lewd, you got to say goo bazooka. Or baby batter cannon. Jesus. <sighs> Shoot your goo, my dude. My fucking <laughs> Anyway. But we have a nice little, um, almost <laughs> fob here going on. Uh, I'm dying. The tall uh, oh, cargo tower. Fucking dying. Not tall, but like the um, checkpoint tower things. Cargo posts. Looking north and, yeah, cargo posts. That's the word. Yeah. They're looking north and south. Big little battle tower just outside, kind of giving a, a sentinel's view over what things. What the actual? Tower, but I think uh, being in a bowl such like uh, <laughs> such as this, with blue four attacking from the northwest, that is asking to be encircled. Literally from the northeast to the southwest, it is just oh, like automatic man. shooting position down on to this uh, onto this little fob. Uh, doesn't look like people are going to be holding here. Warwick might be sending a charge. No, oh, I stand corrected. The helicopter's taken off, and it's already flying around. I I guess it's the attackers only, then? What do you mean? The the helicopter for Greenford took off, and it's yeah. still safe start. So defenders can take off their helicopter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure attackers can, too. No, they no, they... Start. No, they can't... Sp I could have sworn that was a rule. I don't know. But that, yeah, like, you're not allowed to spool. They, they like, you can spool up, but you can't actually leave the ground until the round begins. But I guess I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe Zulex will get in trouble like the last guy. Or the last uh, people in EU. But anyway, that's Terminal 1 taken oh care of. Terminal God. 2 down to the south uh, What's corner. That? OP Meek. What's is, that? Uh, Stop it. Again, kind of in the low ground. Bit of fog rolling in with this elevation. But overall, I think this is a lot better and a lot more spread out. Um, I could definitely see a team over to the south, kind of giving overwatch to an internal mm -hmm. garrison, but it looks like they may not even be doing that here either. They're stopping for the all eggs in one basket at Terminal 3, or they could still just be... Yeah, I think they were, uh, they're remounting now to deploy, but in all honesty, Terminal 3, I think, is the weakest out of all the AOs because mm -hmm. there's just two MiGs, which, you know, clearly the player base is just going to use them to take off. I mean, Wiki, you see him. He's about to board up in that MiG right now. But, you know, they're... Uh, they're clearly gonna, they're waiting for safe start to end so they can take them off and then they're just gonna dominate. And I'm gonna win $4. I paid you less, I paid you more to dominate me in the past, so this will be a steal for me. What? Whore me! Anyway, uh, but yeah, Terminal 3, the, the runway itself, um, I don't know. Um, the hills overwatching it again provide, well, good overwatch, but there's nothing internally uh, around the airfield to really work around. Uh, so I think it's yeah, probably the weakest of them. Oh, looks like uh, we have Bravo now over by Terminal 2 in the south. But also there's people heading out to Get Terminal the bonk 1. bonk sticks so out. 1 and 2 defense. I don't know. I really don't know how I would go about defending this now that I have some uh, <laughs> experience under my belt commanding. I can now... Uh, and I'm not qualified. Don't let it go to your head, you little shit. You weren't even there for half the round because your internet's so <laughs> terrible. And, and you weren't there for half the round because you died. Lamau. <laughs> I literally just put, you know, uh, the shuka bra where you put your thumb and your pinky out and just wave it around. Not, not as good as Have you ever heard that before? Any sub. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Go. Why is chat being horny? Why are you being. So we have a fucking thing to stream here why are you all being horny stop being horny no horny oh that's a perfect sound bite I'm, I'm definitely gonna rip that from the stream anyway Wasper came back to bratty sub and quote I mean you are unquote <laughs> Yeah, hey, chat. Like no, 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 no. Barb, 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 Barb. What about your sister? Haha, uh -huh, my sister's doing good. Great. She's mad at her husband. Ooh. Are you yeah. telling me just because there's a goalie doesn't mean I can't score? No, I'm saying that there's an open net. I <laughs> see. Even you can win on an open net. I just oh. cuss. Oh, <laughs> Keen, thanks for the 20 bucks. Oh, ooh. <laughs> My God.
Good one. That, that ended it. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Just like you, I also end early. What? See, you can't even say anything about that. Why? It, it was what? self immolation. We still have a minute to go. Fuck. What's that saying you saw your sister once? Yeah, what's that? I mean, I don't think he did, but let's see. Let's see what he says. Can Blood oh, can Bloodwing score? <laughs> when she wants to score. It's not a That's very true. Stand, it's a matter of when she wants to, she will. I can assure you she could if she wanted to, but it's only I if she think, wants to. I still think about that story you told me about the bar. <laughs> That's, we need to stop that one. <laughs> We're not telling yeah. that one. Uh, no, no, don't. Please don't. I'm just bringing it up because I know it's going to make you giggle and blush a little bit on the other side of this monitor. Oh, freaking God. A little cutie. Like a little cutie Liru. Shut the fuck up. Make me. Go to horny jail. Yeah, don't make me. <sighs> anyway. Uh, I'm getting another sorry. slice of pizza. Two, um, two, one. I'm done. Here we go. All right. We don't talk I'm about the fursuit. Some of your viewers by being horny. That gives me power over you. It doesn't uh, work. It's heading out to the, to the northwest. Looking like it's going to do some early harassment and recon. Um, Huey for Blue Force heading up to the west out of bounds. Probably going to be coming around on the southwest of Terminal 2 around the mountain, if I had to guess. Well, let's see what this MA8 does. As it probably got a lot of those guys moving. Yep, I think Catch sees him. He definitely sees all those trucks moving. You'll never find it. I'm just saying, you'll never find it. Because it doesn't exist. Firing out on that MI8. Catch firing back, but he needs to uh, lead his shots a little bit more. You see those tracers going to the right of the road. He needs to uh, account for his forward momentum, and the engine's already dead. Wow. It's already screaming at them. I heard the uh, metal impact there. Something engine's still it. going, actually. Yeah, it, it's still spooled up. I don't know what that beeping is, though. Maybe anti-torque got hit or something. I think yeah. that might be what it is, because now it's kind of sliding a little bit far wide. I'll keep an eye on it, but it is not happy. Mm-hmm. Serbian engineering. <laughs> yeah, nice little convoy going down the, uh, the main MSR, heading down uh, between points 155 and 169, heading towards Terminal 1. So, might be a little straightforward here. Not really diverting much from their plans. Thorn is shooting at the MIA for some reason. Don't know why. Yeah, he's get him! And he does a tactical reload to be safe. Uh, well, as we're talking, Hell night. Uh, Inc. Thanks for them on three sub. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you got a kick out of this. Resubatoru or Les Battle or English Lesbian Competitive Intercourse. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day. What? G -Lex, G Lex and Catch land back at the airfield, safe as sound, uh, so they will be able to uh, <clears throat> patch themselves up, whatever the case. Oh, so, yeah. No, they're gonna change uh, frames now. They're gonna go for the Migs. Ah, oh, right, right. They, they yeah. confirmed enemy contact, so Talk has given them uh, clearance to take off and ah, to, excellent. Uh, bomb a hospital. Ah, wait, no, they're Serbian, not American. You got it wrong. Serbians also bombed a lot of hospitals. If there's casual the sex, Serbian then there must be competitive sex. <laughs> Drake is, uh, they're shooting watching all these guys come up. Humvee. Because I can't PID. Miss! So. That it's okay, Locksmith, you tried. Good. Um, but I think that M2 might have just hit the main rotor and damaged it because it's looking damaged. Do you see what you've all done? Now my chat's wanting me to break you. Well, I'm sorry, but the chat speaks. I, I obey the chat. Lots of fire now coming out as uh, the. I gotta write that down. Try to open up on legal action and uh, blue four alpha. Yeah, they got hit. Sniped out instead, and so they're pulling back. And so yeah, big attack on the north side of Terminal One. 
as the rest of Blue Force still trying to kind of get situated. The two hunters are starting to work together, and Sky in the 113 still has a full load of troops to uh, send off somewhere. God, don't you hate it when you have a full load? Ah, uh, no, because I usually can get rid of it pretty quickly. But of course not you can. Yes. Well, so far Blue Four has been doing. Uh, actually, the. I thought it looked like they were going to do a unified battle line with their troop deployment. Instead, they are breaking off to do a pincer. And we have uh, that 113 you mentioned going with a Gamma element Ooh. and a Delta 2 element. What? Good mag jump from legal action there with that M21. Just, I mean, just whatever Green Force forces up here, they're just cresting the hill and getting schwacked. Dog Hammer, I don't know. You tell me. This is the horniest I've heard Lee in a while. Explosive Satchel just went off. I think just blew a Serbian player away. And now you've got... UPSC's infantry on Blue 4 pushing up. They're doing a double tap. And the 113 coming on the MSR, heading in for Terminal 2, actually going into the low ground. This is not too good, I don't think. Positioning is, well, I don't know. I'm, I might stand corrected. If they go down to where Mispear is now, disembark there, climb up the hill, and use the hill as a firing position. Getting some shots on the tower before pushing in down low again. It's not ideal, but I don't think anything really is. Looks like they're actually pulling back as Miss Pure, I think he just dodged that AT. Yeah, that was close. Uh, I think it was Montgomery. No, I think that was Kernshaw actually, because he's missing his two. But they're starting to pull back as well. Yeah, they're realizing that that position's also defended. I think they were just trying to get an outflank, thinking Green 4 had more forces defending this uh, earlier terminal here. And now Blue 4 is a uh, little on the scattered side, but I think Green 4 is just so far off, they might be able to get some good pickoffs here. I mean, already looking at the map, it's looking a little sparse, I, I'll be real, for Green 4. Yeah. I, I think someone got caught out really, heavy, really heavily early on. I'm sorry, no, Foxtrot 2 is all loaded up, so that's a, about a dozen or so that are in there. We only yeah. Have Spider Locksmith fix. Helicopter just went down. And for geez. green four. Oof. So that's G legs and them down. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so they probably got shot by something. Uh, but yeah, only a few skulls really for green four, and I'm looking at more for blue four. Yeah, so right now it's actually looking pretty even, just a lot of green four is still loaded up on this kind of counter attack coming in from the north. Losing a lot of those, uh, a lot of vehicles, or at least Fox Rod 2 is using their truck as golf and golf one just kind of roam around the mountainside in their uh, mm -hmm. battle vehicles. So we're seeing Green 4 try and get their VIX behind Blue 4 groups engaged, but Blue 4 is doing a really good job pulling 360 and spotting stuff, but Green 4 X-Ray, I just saw Buckets move up a hill and get a headshot hill. He just got a second kill, he's gonna go three for three. But he starts getting shot at from a far guy, isn't able to get that third. But you have his uh, Gren, uh, excuse me, his Marksman Dreams getting some more pickoffs here, and they are just absolutely annihilating this Blue Force squad. That's two for Dream now and two for Buckets with another down for Dream, so he's doing well. I'm always excited to see my protégés, you know, succeeding in the field. Well, I didn't know you trained other people. But anyway, uh, Dream's getting a third kill. What, you think I only train with you? Smile. You're, you're making a horny joke, aren't you? Hey. Oh my god. Oh, but now Green 4 X-Ray is getting blue on blue by their own vehicles to the north. Oh, you love to see that. And Green 4 has, for the most part, pulled away from Terminal 1 and is establishing a defense on Terminal 2. Blue 4, though, landed a squad to the south. It's Scandi Recon and TSB elements. Uh, they're going to come uh -oh. from the southeast of Terminal 2 and potentially coming from the high ground. My bad, I hit the wrong button there. Went, uh, blinded everyone with night vision. Right, since we have a, a lull, I got a I got a fanboy joke to make. I know they kill communities, but like I feel like there are a lot of fanboys that are into Arma because if you really want to get into Arma, you need to get into you need to kind of learn like SQL, uh, S good. SQF or SQL. Uh, SQF technically. 
Okay. Well, gets on his third but, kill. Yeah, you, you, you gotta learn coding to, you know, really get into armor heavily, and, well, what, what does coding produce? It, you know, Seven kills you get, between x-ray. Socks, you get, you know, you start cross-stretching, you buy a cute skirt, go, oh no, I don't have any pants today, guess I gotta wear the skirt. Not so sequel. This is clean, oh no, and next thing you know, boom, you're a femboy. So, Bucket's on his fourth kill. Dream's on his fourth kill. Eight kills between Green 4 X-Ray here. They have just been cleaning house on this uh, Blue 4 group. And we do have a single Blue 4 guy. It is Stanners once again running off on his own to go capture that terminal, playing that card. But Green 4 X-Ray has just been dominating on this hill. I think they're going to come over and double tap the remaining Blue 4 guys. Uh, that are below them, but they're just trying to double tap bodies, make sure everyone is down. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned with uh, Scandi right now. They are the Blue Four X-ray group, but um, they're kind of in the firing line of. Too most much alcohol is killed. Barb's sense of humor. They're not being shot at. Oh, uh, the shots are falling way short, but still. Grab on his first kill. Bit of a concern. I wouldn't want to be standing behind where those bullets are going. And actually, I think someone did. Dogpour just. I think Dogpour spotted them out. Yeah, he's spraying down, suppressing that uh, mount, that crest where uh, Scandi are. I think his entire like, squad wiped by X-Ray. Uh, That's a dream to happen, this, man. Uh, looking down his scope, looking this map down. is allowing them to get away with something like that. Degs USA, thanks for the 22 month resub, my man. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope we're going to kick out of this stream. I hope you get a kick out of this scenario and stay safe on COVID. Ah, uh, point man trying to heal his battle, buddy. But uh, X-Ray in a big open map like this with good elevation i mean i'm not surprised they're racking up this many kills can't believe yash would be so mean as to say i don't have any humor oh now we're seeing some blue on blue here buckets buckets check your map so yeah right now blue four just kind of stagnating their assault uh they should be getting terminal one here as standards is Clearing everything out, making sure there's no traps. Did he just spot one? Because I, was, I wasn't even able to see one here. No, there is one, right on top of the terminal. So Stanner sees it and... Blue 4 has run up and to where the Green 4 chopper is over there. He's going to pop the terminal, and Chop. he's going to run for his damn and life. Stanner's getting that terminal. Only a 60 second counter. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, these things Bucket's are... getting the fifth kill there. on Point Man. Yep. So are a little late, and Sanders is able to get out of there with plenty of time to spare. Doesn't even have to look at the explosion. He's that cool. Unfortunate. I'm not going to lie. I don't... Blue Force is just too stagnated. This map is just too open for... Uh, Green Force favor, but Blue Four X Ray now on the rear of Terminal Two, trying to do, uh, excuse me, replicate the same magic that Green Four X Ray did and wiping an entire squad. He got Nemesis, trying to get some pickoffs with that SVD, but he did not get a single one. Sholin now returning fire up that hill, and they're just gonna blindly suppress. But Blue Four has a lot of room to work with here, and they might run over and try to go to Terminal Three by those two Migs, which are still grounded. I guess it's just the streamer's curse. And we have a uh, hold up, Gamma Ghoster coming on the rear with a Humvee, the PKT Humvee. Uh, doesn't have a gunner though. There goes Terminal One getting successfully hacked. Is he gonna switch to the gun and shoot these Vix? Possibly. Cheese was the gunner. I don't know. He, his best chance is to try and gun down the uh, gunner for the one three, but um, he, he breaks away. Just yeah, he's just not gonna draw any attention to himself. I don't think Severe even really noticed that there was. Hostile, although now mm -hmm. he's in a good position, but no one's really just even reacting. Yeah, to no him. good camp on the map, exactly. Harmless until he pokes his head out like a turtle. Yeah, so we have a blue four group remounting in that one one three. Over on the northwest side, uh, we have that group dismounting. I think that was Foxtrot 2. That's Rory leading about half a dozen people up the hill behind Platoon 1 HQ. It's Jip style with a full truck. Yeah. They're a little late. They're trying to get some shots, but they have gotten yeah, away. Get away. Yep. So good for them. And that has also revealed their position. Ghost are pulling around. Dro yeah, driving right up to Blue Fork Command. Now he's driving down the hill to escape. Yep. And he's going to get away too. That thing is pretty well armored. 
Well, can't protect you. From <laughs> Streamers curse. Oh yeah, he's gonna get away. Oh, he flipped it like as I said it, as the words. Yep. Lips. He. Oh. You saw that too, right? No. What do you do? Uh, what the fuck? There's, so there's a, a flip script script on F and F, so people can reflip their flipped vehicles. Of course. Uh, Ghoster almost flipped it onto himself. Amazing. In fact, he, he really did, but he just didn't get armored and crushed underneath the wheel well or something. Genius. Uh, Skies113 doing a charge. Does Green 4 have any AT? No, no AT prepped. It's going to go right through the line. And I think it's going to rush to the airfield using uh, Blue 4, uh, um, yeah, X-Ray Blue 4's data to go tap that terminal real quick so they can encircle the remaining spot. And Green 4 has a lot of forces out of position, so if Blue 4 capitalizes on their speed here, they might be able to get away with this. Dusty's down over there. I'm only counting seven skulls for Green 4. I think we've had some disconnects because the E people were logging off you know, in the wee hours of the morning, but... Oh no, Cullen is cut out of position here. Green 4 command. But Blue 4 decided to do a dismount on this hill. Cullen... in the middle of Blue 4 here. Ghosts are now getting back to friendly lines, so you might be able to find another gunner, but Colin Puts a GL right on top. Minimal damage, though. Uh, someone just hit the gunner. And, so and Colin just went unconscious somehow. Something yeah, exploded next to him. Uh, yeah, I think the grenade hit him and he bled out or something. Oof. Ooh, and someone actually does hit that gunner in the AMRAP again. And trying to get the double tap. Seeing some more blood. Rocket goes out. Was that on the Huey? Yes, it was. Huey just got hit, I think. Yep. Looked like it. I figured Green 4 would go on a uh, tall hill like over there, so that is the Huey. Well, the engine is still up, but the tail rotor is out, so they could, in theory, auto-rotate and land. But then or they could keep flying as long as they maintain speed. I've seen them do that in the past, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, just just the, the quick weasel rush. Oh, New Vegas. I'd love That's to go really play some New Vegas. Colin like. waking back up. Blue Fair doing their uh, Blue Four doing their best to stay alive here. Oh, wakes back up and is able yep. to crawl a bit more into cover. It looks like. These guys have any AT? Dream has AT. Pray that Miss Pierre and the M2 does not uh, look down to his left. And there's an infantry dismount. No, the, the MiGs are just props. I keep, I'm just joking about The uh, counter push on everything. the north side now encircling this group on the north. That's Pierce, Koak, Bonds, and Staffenberger. They're starting to be encircled from Porter and Buckets. Buckets would be on my nominee list, I think, mm -hmm. for uh, one of the better armor players. Dream gets a close-range AT shot on Pierce's Humvee, or the MRAP. Knocks yeah. that out. Get Dog it. four makes the uh, makes Pierce and Stewart just Dog four, you so now they have two no. more to deal with, but great. No, he was a friend. Yeah. So cool. Dog Four just killed uh a friendly. Buckets on five kills. And about to he get killed Garcia. Koak, and he does. A little bit of lag there, but Yeah, so Green 4 X-ray has been doing really good. They wiped an entire squad and now they're contending with this other group driving up. So they did AT that vehicle. And now they're just trying to wrap them up. But Green 4 Foxtrot's coming up and giving some assistance. And we still have a large amount of Blue 4 forces in reserve on the rear by Platoon HQ. I think Blue 4 is just causing to feed on detail on itself by sending in small groups and they're just getting picked apart. Stuart hops in the Green 4 Humvee, but the M2 fires back at Foxtrot too, and I think got someone. Uh, but then he gets clapped in return. And yeah, this group of Blue 4 up here on the hill are, are all but wiped out. It's down to... Uh, Platoon 1 HQ Command, Charlie, Charlie 2, uh, and then a few other remnants uh, scattered about the AO. But it's looking pretty rough for Blue 4, I think. Yeah. I, think I don't know what it was, but, like, they were they were kind of gifted Terminal, uh, the Northern Terminal, which I think, yeah, that was Terminal 1. Yeah, but, I mean, they did... And then Green 4 counteracted. Yeah. Sanders is still at that Terminal site, by the way. He's trying to get some pickoffs on... He might have actually just gotten a drop on someone. Stewart! Actually runs over buckets. I think that oh. was accidental. That probably he, uh, was in panic. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he ran, ran over the tree, so yeah, no, he wouldn't have seen buckets. 
Uh, it's against the rules to run, e uh, run people over intentionally with vehicles, but accidents do happen regarding that rule, so. Buckets yeah, wakes back up. And it's, it's, it's absolutely fine. So Stewart trying to run for his life. Staffenberger trying to do something. He's got that PKM. Could do something good with that from a mm -hmm. comfortable position, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to check the kills on these guys. Dream is on six. Buckets yeah, is so on six. Yeah, so X-Ray is over a dozen right now. Yeah, they got 13 between Dream, Buckets, and Grav. They got 13. Yeah, they, they wiped an entire squad. They were further up the hill. And if you look where Delta 2 is right now, for example, you can see their handiwork. There's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bodies all between the ridge and uh, the so the uh, the western ridge and the tallest ridge to the east. Cyrus getting blue on blue from distance. He's on. Grab team. getting another kill. And Colin's still crawling around. You only have um, Sled for here. AT when I think that was the Moz for Blue Four trying to land at the terminal site, the, but it uh, missed. The tower, they've been hitting it, but yeah, that one missed. Tessica, By the way, uh, and, mm -hmm, go ahead. Blue Four is uh, having their X-ray forces go to Terminal Three, so they're at least going to get the hack on that. So it's not entirely outside of their reach. I I could still see mm -hmm. I could still see Blue Four mounting up the remaining force and Thunder running this AO and potentially taking it because Green Four's defenses are looking really light because a lot of their forces are still over by where Terminal One was to the northwest. Mm -hmm. Testing now opening up on the on the tower with the M2, but T5 Bay gets the counter snipe, takes off his on the three. gunner. Dane. T5, that was Bay's uh, first kill of the game. That Vic is now trying to pull yeah, back. Before, they should be getting that third terminal any minute now, although they might also just wait on it and just wait for the time to be right, put the pressure on them uh, at the worst moment. Or they could do it early, try and draw some people away. Yeah, I would recommend they do it early. Cyrus and them have stolen the 113 with the 240 on it. Um, so they do have that asset repurposed. Before X-Ray getting into a firefight with... There's still a lot of time left. Yeah, there's still a lot of time left on the clock, but... We see Blue Four mounting up in two trucks. Might try that push any second now. Alright, there's the hack. Terminal 3. So Swola watched Blue Four mount up in those trucks. He's probably going to call it out. Uh, Platoon 1 HQ just drove their fucking truck into the river. And Broken just drove his MRAP into the middle of a, of a fucking kill zone and got gunned down by, I think, an M2 and a 240. And Sideways is driving up on his uh, with one additional guy. What? Are they like a distraction? I think this is desperation at this point. Um, well, I mean, they have a lot of time. Maybe that was just a bait, Vic. To make Green Four think they killed every, I. But Green Four only has one objective to go to to pull back on, and you also have the helicopter landing to pick up. Lolo, they repaired the tail rotor. Really interesting. Yeah. It's on a fight on the top of the hill. They're checking the MIGs, but they need to. They need to remount that chopper if they want to get away, because that GBU might damage the Huey. Um, possibly. Oh that my god. Be. And they're letting it spool down. I think they think the same thing, so they're getting away from it. Nice. No. Tail rotor texture and everything looks pretty pristine. Yeah. I think they, they got lucky. The MIGs are blown up, though. I'm sorry. No! Alright, so Blue 4, we got legal action and sideways coming up the hill here, pushing Kernshaw Montgomery. You know, if if Blue Four pushes this advantage with this force to the southwest, I could see them still winning here. But Green Four has a lot of forces still to the west. It's mainly Foxtrot as those two machine gun teams. If they were to pull in and play defensive, I, I think it's GG. But there's still a lot of time until they're able to pull back. And that gives Blue Four a big opportunity to get over here. 
I think Terminal a... 3 kind of, I mean, they didn't really react to it, so... Why do what? Also, how are you doing, Drum? Thanks for the 35-person raid, uh, my man. I don't think it would have gotten a much different reaction else, um, otherwise. So now they can get... No, the uh, MiGs were uh, locked. The they were just props. Uh, X-Ray going back towards uh, Terminal 2, get some Overwatch going, as now Golf for, uh, goes through there, and PKT Humvee could see Blue for Command up there on the ridge, but it's going to be pretty tight... Uh, spotting. Oh, Ghoster. Ghoster has a perfect <laughs> kill plane right in front of him. Charlie 1, Charlie 2, Platoon 1 HQ right in front of him, but he's busy looking down at the base of the tower at the Thunder Run that tried to come in. Yeah, Sanders uh, providing a good distraction, took a lot of lead, and that's going to allow the rest of Blue Four to get right up on this hill and potentially start overwatching this sector. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Ghost just spotted them, but also Command spotted Ghost. Real quick, I'm just checking. Okay, yeah, they're trying to banish down. This is there. Ghost reloads and pokes his head back in, gets in the driver's seat, and is running away. Again, that up armored Humvee can withstand most small arms fire. They'd Montgomery want to pushing. Or something uh, to really push. He's going to get spotted out by Carpenter. Isn't able to land the shot, and Carpenter smacks him. Uh, excuse me. Montgomery smacks Carpenter, but he gets taken out by pads. Liar double tapping. Kernshaw getting behind Liar. But is unable to get the shot. And now Kernshaw gets Olaf behind him and taken out. But Kernshaw is able to get Liar. Now we might see Brennan return the favor. And that Huey is now trying to... Uh, it's still up, apparently. They were able to get repaired after the bomb went off. And they're now flying orbital. Brennan went up. He's taking fire from multiple angles. And he is knocked out. But now Cosmonaut's pushing up with the MRAP. Yep. But it's just him in there. He doesn't have a gunner. Is he going to get friendly fired at all with this? Doesn't look like it. But you know how jobby people can be in these waning minutes. Where is Foxtrot 2 going for green for? It's just Ash. Wait, so where's the rest of Foxtrot? I, I don't know. Did Wait, they... when did they all get killed off? When did they all get killed off? What? Where they the get hell? By Charlie, Charlie 1 and Platoon 2? I, I don't know. They were a full squad. They weren't really seeing much contact. Was it... Well, it could have been a lot of them. Stuart, look at Stu. He's on seven kills with that M2 Vic. He sniped Foxtrot with an M2. What? Yeah, Jesus, seven oh kills. Oh my god. <laughs> go down this uh, fucking ridge. Where did that come from? I thought Green Force held a full squad to send on the rear and wrap this up, but I guess Stuart had other plans. Good god. AT coming in on the top of the tower here. Yeah, Mark, this is my four-hour shift, man. Ha! Yeah, that tower's not gonna go down. It's probably set to Ooh. It's so close to the, the terminal mm -hmm. itself. Even though Stuart wiped the rest of Green Force Reserve, I don't I don't think Blue Force is gonna have the manpower here to take this. It's gonna be close, but T5 Bay, T5 Pinto, Nielsen. I mean, these are all really good players. And they know how to hold because they are all in the same community and they, they're a milsim, so they're going to be a lot more strict. Yes, but the thing is, they're going to need to, um, if Blue Four can breach the position, uh, can breach the compound, they're going to need to find a way to get, Carlos to to get back down to ground floor in order to, to deactivate the terminal. Yeah. Uh, which is... That's There's only that's five guys close by now. I, I don't see it. Uh, Blue Four has fully lost the numbers advantage here. Yeah. I... I could still see Stuart getting up somewhere and picking off more people. Like, freaking seven kills off of that. That's insane. Carpenter opening up on Ash now. Good shot on Ash. Great shot from them. And yep, they're, they're still shooting because they think the truck's done, but they're just... Uh, look at all the blood coming out of that thing, man. Jesus. We get it. Olaf, stop it. Stop it. He's already dead. Olaf on three. Good for Olaf. Is on three. Carpenter on one. And Fallout is on nil. So yeah, a few scattered people around. Mm -hmm. Scandi and Command, they're actually still pretty far out, Scandi at least. Yeah, um, they were, uh, Nast was busy bandaging Nemesis, but Nemesis still has that Marksman rifle. And it is going to be really useful here. And we're, we still have 22 minutes left. Like this round has gone by a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. Well, in the sense of more things have happened in a, in a short time span. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's been compact. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of time left. Um, about, yeah, 20, 22 minutes or so. 
Helicopter landed. It's under fire from some green four elements in the hills. Oh, sideways. What are you doing, dude? He just ran into a firing squad. Ouch. So we gunned him down along with Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, that's 760 weaponry. That's, that's him throwing his life literally into the garbage can. It's, it's just going to go down to small unit tactics at this point. We're seeing uh, Carpenter and Fallout firing up at Urban Wells, who were trying to hold this small ridge. At least they're being distracted, but now you're having Mountain taking his two guys. They're doing a thunder run into the compound. Yep, that's about the best they can do. Nielsen, though, he's going to be the best person to counter this, along with... Dog Hit the Vic a little hard. Mountain crippled himself by hitting it too hard. Satchel being thrown. Oh, no. Oh, get they're, they're dead. They're dead. President, get down. That literally killed all of them. That was yep. I just said they're dead. Dude, that Satchel is nothing to joke about. <laughs> Good job by Dog4 there. Denied the thunder run. He didn't get credit for it, but that was two died immediately, and then Azrael. Az is down. So Nielsen might go up and double tap if he notices. And Warwick in the uh, wrecked 113 there, just maintaining defensive. See the guy in front of the bunker who got flung, like, about 10 meters? Yeah. Fucking satchel. Jesus. Now he's doing the, the dead splits. I know it's, wait, it's just oh. his knees. Never mind. Yeah, you, you got a different ragdoll on my screen, but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the weird thing about uh, Arma. Body ragdolls are client side. Yeah, that's pretty common. Is it? Fairly, I believe. I know that's a case. I didn't know that. Huh. X ray, they found the PKT. I don't know if they hit it with AT or, so or someone hit it with AT because that's smoking. Nash tries to get inside. Uh, I think yeah, that's been smoking for a while. I've been more curious about the other Vic moving around. Where's Stuart? He is also on that same side. Nice, yep. Further up, just a bit more passive. He's going to use the range on it. Is he still on seven? Yep. But, yeah. I mean, that's what he did, the freaking Green 4 Foxtrot. And we see uh, to the far north, Martin is charging up with a truck, trying to find where the helicopter's dismounted because he got a kill on a guy, one of the pilots that dismounted. Ooh, Nemesis with a great long-range kill from his position to the terminal. Nice. About 350 meters or so with elevation differences. Nice shot. Dog4 is going through um, Azrael's inventory because uh, with the new Ace update, you actually get the uh, 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 yeah, ability to interact with players' inventory. So now you can't do the cheap thing of uh, to check if he's unconscious. If you get the inventory, you know he's dead. If you don't get the inventory, you know he's still uncon. So you either banish him yeah. if he's friendly or shoot him if he is not. Olaf charging in and gets blown up. <laughs> Bitch slapped back by Bridges. From the bunker right in front of him. Oh. That was Bridges' first. This is a good one. Herb getting picked off. Blue Force still has a chance, especially with that marksman rifle. It's, it's kind of un unsettling how close this has gotten, in my honest opinion. It, I mean, we still haven't even hit 15 minutes. We still have, uh, yeah. 17 or so. Like, Jesus. <laughs> XCOM abused you. What? You missed a 95% shot, didn't you? Oh, Stewart getting his Humvee lit the fuck up. He hops out. I think he's taking a bit too much damage for him. And, oh, no, he gets back in, actually. Yep, Cosmonaut was firing at it from range. And they're exchanging fire. That's a lot of shots into his arms. He gets out on the wrong side, tries to get in the driver's seat, front right wheel is out, and he's still going to be able to play a little bit of blood, but... A lot of blood. Th those are bullet impacts, not blood. Yeah, oh, they do kind of look like blood. Now. Yeah, they yeah they do look similar, but that's but just the 50 cal interacting. There's two little blood splotches, though. All, limbs. all of his limbs are bloodied up. Ooh. Oh, yeah, so he drove back so he can do some bandaging. Right now, it's, I think it's just Scandi and Stewart. We also have Fallout still on the, on the west side, but it's... Patriot and Executive at Oof. the far uh, end. Mm. Ah, man. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm with you. Anything can happen. We have... How many people still here? We have uh, five. It's a crazy $4 bet we made for this round. <laughs> right? Cosmo is out um, still driving around with the Hunter. I don't know if he spotted Scandi or not, but that's going to spook them now that it's moving. Iander, does he even hear it? Now he hears it. Did Cosmo not spot them, though? That is the question. Uh, they don't have AT, though, because I think they're X-Ray. No, they're X-Ray. No, they wouldn't have any AT, but Cosmo, again, in that MRAP, they would need to poke out. And he did spot them. I, I, yep. Just getting it fired at by Bridges and Nutty Person from the bunker. Those are some good shots from Bridges. Mm-hmm. Just not close enough here. I do like how we have Fallout Mayhem on the hill. He's trying to find something to shoot, but Porter is on his rear as well. Mm. Nemesis needs to get a line on with that marksman rifle, and I think that's what he's doing. Cosmonaut gets into the M2 now on the top of the hill. Does he see Naps there? He's looking for an angle, but can't find it. I'm going to drop my markers. Oh, he's turned around. Ooh. Nemesis getting a great pick off on Montgomery. Yep, and he is dead. Amazing shot there. He uh, he literally uh, keyholed the top of his head. Yeah, Montgomery, that was in the M2. His first shot literally hit the top of the shielding, and he just literally adjusted a millimeter and then got the headshot. But I was watching him make that shot. It was super close. Now you have Stewart charging in. He's crippled, and I think he's out of bandages, or he's tourniqueted. I don't see any blood leaking, so I think he's uh, just tourniqueted to try to stay alive here. Yep, and so probably a bullet or two is gonna, all it's going to be to need it to take him out. I think he's going to be able to pick Dog4 off. Okay. Yep. And he has an M21. Perfect shot. But are they able to properly PID that audio? You don't use M21 something, so it might sound foreign and draw the interest of Nielsen and Porter. Yeah, but they, they have an open door on the terminal here. Neil uh, Stewart avoids all. Wow! Almost Two for him. one. He he got Bridges. He's on nine. That might give Blue for enough room to move here. Nemesis under fire though from Wells, Wells, who has a really good Overwatch spot. He takes fire though by Lolo. In time. He opened up on Nemesis and then rolled back into cover. This is going to be such a powerful harassing uh, position because he can work around this rock right on the ridge. Be around from both sides and duck into cover whenever we he wants. We still have all these guys out here, too. That's mean Nav's getting caught on the open. And now tap, tap, tap. Can't quite land it. The Katibas are such a powerful weapon, in all honesty. I mean, that's he's using a PKM, but sure, go oh, on. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, I was talking about Bay getting some pickoffs, trying to hit Eander. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there goes Eander. Yep. Which Lolo tr almost got the revenge kill. Mm hmm. Bay, though, quickly pulling back. Well's still up there with that PKM. He's looking for an angle. He is immediately met with shots, though, by Lolo. Great eyes by Lolo there, watching that longer barrel PKM. Oh, there goes Nafs. T5 Bay yep. getting up, second up Scandi. They wanted, they wanted more. They got the taste off by Andrew. They wanted more, so they went for the head. Now just Lolo and Why is Fallout running back? And we saw Fallout and the... Huge yeah, he's running away now. He was right on top of this hill. I, I don't know. I'm confused. I feel like if we were to push in through a different angle, he might be able to win against Nutty, but... Nemesis pushing in with the pistol at 443 Gratch is 9 mil. I think he's going to check this body and try to get a different gun here so he can do CQB instead. That'd be smart. Martin driving back like a bat out of hell. We still have Grav on this northern hill who is just chilling with his binos. <laughs> He's been up there a while. <laughs> just out in crossfire. I think he gets flanked and taken out by T5 Bay as he was trying to take cover from Wells up on the hill. And it is up now, to Nemesis. Mayhem is chasing down Martin, who is, I believe, staff for NF uh, FNF. Yeah, Martin is um, the server dev. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Nemesis pushing in now. He got himself a Katiba. Good gun. He's gonna run Might to catch the... Nielsen. Doesn't uh, spot him. Noise. Bit too much noise. Oh, yep. Spot nutty person. Spot Nielsen doesn't react, though, because of that uh, gun. Nope, oh, now he is. Nemesis looking at him. Oh! First shot went to the bottom of the head and knocked him out. Right to the jaw. And Lolo's dead, so that's going to be a Scandi wipe. 
They tried their best, but uh, it was only so good. It was a hard nut to crack. Don't again. Don't don't get me wrong. Like, Blue Four has possible, especially I mean, since Blue so Four still has three guys to the north. They could still turn this around, but I don't know what they're About doing. Eleven minutes. Yeah, Fall of Mayhem just completely ignoring the truck at this point. I'm uh, just driving around like a troll. I don't know if they think that this truck is armored or not, because it's definitely not. They could easily shoot him out, like not even through the glass, through the metal as well. I'm pretty sure. Now you have Wells firing on Patriot and Operator. Why are you eating pizza in the middle of a fucking shout? Dude, it's over. You owe me four bucks. <laughs> it's not over till the fat lady sings. Don't talk about your mother that way. Oh, you're gonna go there? Because I was gonna say, but I didn't want to talk about Bloodwing. <laughs> I heard that choke. Barb, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna send the sound bite to Bloodwing. Uh, yeah, yeah. After yeah. This is my mother. Yeah, now you're gonna run behind your dommy mommy, GF, and now you're gonna let her do all the work for you, you little sub. Okay. My God. I don't even think of the words that come out of my mouth sometimes. They just have. They just yeah, out. I can tell. Hey, this is more creative than saying your mom like it's fucking seventh grade. Fallout going down to Grav. Grav getting a really nice long range shot there. Patient and operator. For the record, I'm eating on stream Grav. because I've been streaming for seven I, hours. Martin still just hasn't even no gone out of his fucking truck. He's just, he's playing Euro, uh, Euro Truck Simulator. If it's effective, it's effective. So is that what you say when girls find out you have a three-inch pen penis? If it's effective, it's effective. Why? Patriot with the PKP. Now patient operator. Operator with Katiba. Um, I guess. I, so they have stolen enemy guns. There's nine minutes remaining. Would be an app name for this because of all the fucking bodies on it. I go into thermals, there's like about a dozen bodies up or around here. Yeah. Let's yeah, that's pretty brutal. Mm-hmm. Nine minutes left to go, less than. T5A looking over in their direction. He's just on po on post. Does he spot Patriot there? No? Martin just... You're gonna go drive. Over. He's just lumbering over. The operator's spot. well spotting operator. And Martin is just no wheels on the truck going and out for a drive. Patriot got hit by Wells. He's now bandaging. An operator has no idea where those shots are coming from. They're gonna mount the truck. Yep, and now that there's a rival truck spotted in the area, Martin's gonna hop out and gun them both down. Oh no. No, Martin. No, Martin. Yeah, Martin just broke break because he knew. Now he's just, now he's gonna try to kill Executive. Of course. And he gets it. Last man standing. It is a 1v1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a 1v6. What do you think, Barb? Well, if Patriot um, channels his inner Patriot and charges, breaking down the doors... Murder on Bay! Uh, gets onto the terminal, um, 360's Nielsen and Nutty Person in the same spray. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, did he make it? He's in it! He made it! I'm so surprised. I saw the blood come out of his head, too. So now the question is, is he brave enough to get into the gutter seat? He's going to bandage himself. He's Bay's like, running down. And they're like, okay, who has AT? Who has AT? Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
No, no, do not keep turning to the left. Blue for what? He got him! He shot through the seat and got him! Oh! <laughs> Six point five penetrates one one three armor. That was a goddamn. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> what? The frickety frack! Alright. Fucking shit. I can't believe it! 6.5 penetrated a 113 and killed the driver! No way! No freaking way! That's the vanilla 6.5! That's why T5 base T5 base. <laughs> I can't believe that. I just cannot believe that. All right, final round hype. Let's go. I really don't know what to say. Just damn. And we're going to be on Zargabad. Oh, I puppy you too, Barbarian. Thank you for the 420. Oh, fuck you. No, it's puppy you. I don't know. You were into that. Sorry. Ah, oh, neutral sector. Lufer has three M2 Humvees and three M240 Humvees. Four BTR. <laughs> oh my God, what? What? I'm gonna check my multi real quick and clean that out because I assure you some people have gone to bed. Alright, who am I scrubbing? Potato is offline and that's it. Alright, cool. Hey, what do you have for the third round? Third and final round of this long, godforsaken night. Zargabad, neutral sector, great. Six Humvees versus four BTRs. What the fuck? <laughs> two Humvees. Wait, no, three Humvees, three one one threes versus four BTRs. How the fuck is that balanced? Excuse I don't know, but apparently, six point five millimeter can penetrate a one one three. <laughs> I still can't believe that. I I don't know what the fuck happened with it. I refuse to believe that the Katiba actually pierced the fucking side of the rear of that thing. You know how little fucking sense that makes? God, fuck. I'm, I need more whiskey. <laughs> Good, and my chest telling me to drink as well. Perfect. No, it's it's three Humvees that are M2 versus and three one one threes. System just fucking you know, said, oh, you know, video game OSC, but it's owned by Ubisoft, and they fucking claimed it. That's the way things are going, you know, Liru. Because so the base game six point five, right? And content <laughs> and flag like shit like that. It's I, I I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do you think I'm gonna use fucking royalty free music? Fuck no. What am I gonna fucking? Sorry, I muted myself. I'm kind of tired of him. Ah, oh, man. 
I'm gonna test that after this. Uh, after this, when we go into Dev Brands for uh, for pay for pain, I'm gonna test a 6.5. Yeah, a 6.5 vanilla Katiba versus an RHS Blue Four Humvee. Dude, if I if that actually is true, I am gonna I'm gonna laugh my ass off. It has to be that rear APC armor though, the opening, the the, the hatch, because that's where you fired it from. So. I don't know. I don't know. Let me unmute. This is round three of NA. It is the final round of the night. And then we are going to transition into finalizing the pay for pain mission. So I'm still probably going to be streaming for another like two to three hours. Ten hour stream. Good God. I'm going to get up and just walk a little bit here. It's not good to sit down for that long. You got to take breaks, you know? Get your legs going. That's some deja vu. Uh, I did have a latte this morning. That's why I'm still energetic. Uh, I'll probably crash by 1 or 2 a.m. though. Because tomorrow we start by pay for pain at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's going to end by 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then we have Friday Night Fight Titans finishing the EU branch. It's the finals. Uh, so we'll see Scandi Recon, UPSC, and others and see who wins that. And then we have the TMTM Anniversary Op this Saturday at 10 p.m. So we got... Hi, um, squad-based commentary, pay for pain, and hopefully a really good meme up. All right, if I turn into a drunken mess, you can blame my chat. And I also paid you four bucks, so literally deal with it. You know, what? it's gonna take them forever to start. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna test Disney. it. Map doesn't matter. Because it's going to take them like 20 minutes to get the round done anyway. But I need to know. That was a regular 6.5 Katiba. And this is on their mod set. Yeah, I don't need Zeus mods, that's why. So, 113. Uh, let me think. So, it was. It was a Green 4 1, right? No. No, it had to have been the Horizon Island Defense Force 1. Or was it the 113? No, it was, um, it was this one. Oh, wait, no, we want them. Let's stay in there, aware. No fuel. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. Is that okay? So is that just from the rear, or is that any angle? It's the rear, but the rear's the same armor value as this. So it's the door that's thinner, somehow. He's unconscious, because his name's Gray. 
No, he's dead. But it's... It's the exact same thickness. What? But... I just heard him scream, though. Is this doing damage? He's dead again. What? Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Give me... Give it again. And now give me uh, a US dude. Is this all 5.56? Five, five, or is it just the 6.5? So he would be about right there. Okay. Yeah, I killed the gunner, but not the dri- wait. No, that killed the driver too. One, report in, over. We've got a man down. I All right, I'm I hate this game. Here? One one threes are trash. Actual oh, trash. Yeah. I, I saw your your chat doing fucking